Welcome to AmeenAcademy.com in multivariable calculus regarding multiple integrals. Let us do some solving problem on Fibonacci theorem. Example, evaluate double integral or r y sin xy dA where r is 1 comma 2 into 0 comma pi. Now, let us first integrate with respect to x. integrate with respect to x double integral r y sin x y da which is equal 0 to pi this is y limit this is x limit and integral 1 to 2 y sin x y dx dy which is equal right outer integral as it is we will do inner integral treating y is a constant. Sin xy integration is minus cos xy into y over xy differentiation is y that is coming down. So cut both x is equal to 1 x is equal to 2 dy which is equal 0 to pi minus cos of we are substituting x values of 2 and 1 we will get minus cos 2y plus minus of minus plus cos of y dy which is which is equal we are substituting the values uh, we are integrating minus cos 2y is equal minus half sine 2y plus cos y is sin y with the limits 0 to pi. Here sin pi and sin 2 pi is 0 and sin 0 also 0 so it gives 0. Now, if we reverse the order, the order we get integral r y sin xy da which is equal 1 to 2 before you are using limits are 0 to pi 1 to 2 now 1 to 2 0 to pi 1 to 2 and 0 to pi y sin xy dy dx to evaluate in the inner integral we use integration by parts so we have to integrate sine of xy with respect to dy let u first integral is y second integral second part is dv let dv equal sine of 
x y d y now to evaluate integral we are uh, using u and v now we'll start integral 0 to pi y sin x y dy by parts we are using first function that is u v at here u u v u v is u v is minus y cos of x y over x with the limits of y equal to 0 y equal to pi plus here 1 over x integral 0 to pi cos of x y dy we are using uv formula for integration now which is equal minus pi cos of pi x over x plus you are giving the limits here 1 over x square sin of x y y equal to 0 y equal to pi that means we are integrating cos of x y d y is sin of x y sin of x y and over x that x will the x index is x square here comes now we are giving the limit minus pi cos pi x over x plus sin pi x over you are giving pi value for x pi value for y that is x square then 0 value sin 0 is 0 and we are giving y values for here 0 that is sin 0 0 comes now if we now integrate the first term by parts now integrate first term by parts for letting u equal u equal 1 minus 1 over x and let dv dv equal pi cos cos pi x dx pi cos pi dx now integrating by parts <coughs> integrate minus pi cos pi x over x plus sine pi x over x square dx with respect to dx first you are integrating we will get we will get now now we will uh, cos minus pi cos pi x over x over x dx here dx 
x equal minus that is uv formula you are using sin pi x over x minus integral sin pi x over x square dx therefore which is equal minus pi cos pi x over x plus sin x over x sin x over x square dx equal minus sin pi x over x and also we can see finally integral 1 to 2 0 to pi therefore y given function y sin of x y dy dx then equal we are giving the limits we will get minus sin pi x over x which is 1 to 2 we will get minus sin 2 pi by 2 plus sin pi which is equal to 0 so by Fibonacci theorem we are getting both values are same by even reversing the limits we get the same values here and here we have done please subscribe our youtube channel